got out of the shower and I'm gonna get ready in a little bit. I'm gonna film another video. Okay, get ready with me and I wanna do a mask because I don't know, I haven't done a mask in a long, long time. So I wanted to give it a try today and the other day I was at Ulta and I was like in their like section where they have like all the face masks and they have a lot of options. And I stumbled upon this one, which is the Freeman Feeling Legendary. This is the Pore Cleansing Volcanic Ash uh, Peel Off Gel Mask. This is actually for men, but I don't, you know, I don't get why would it be like targeted targeted for men, I guess, because they maybe don't clean like their face as often as women do. I don't know. So I picked it up because it's uh, deep cleans, uh, tones, and clears, uh, clears pores and easy to peel mask. I really wanted to pick it up because, I don't know, it intrigued me that it said for men. It doesn't have like a scent to it. Like it doesn't have like a like that cologne scent to it. So I wanted to give it a try. It was, I believe, like $7.99 or something. And it's a big bottle. I mean, it's a good deal. I've actually been having like good days, like good skin days, which I'm really, like really glad. Because I, I usually get like breakouts when I'm about to like, you know, start that time of the month. And that just passed. These down here, I don't even know, like, what's going on. They've been there for, like, about a month. And they haven't, like, left. So, we'll see. So, I'm going to use, this is their Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. I've had this brush for years. Pretty sure this was one of the first brushes I ever bought. I'm pretty sure. Because, like, the first brushes I ever bought were, like, from Real Techniques. So, I use this one to apply like foundation or to apply masks before so it's kind of like it's a good size you know so like I said I'm just gonna apply this we'll see how like my skin kind of like reacts to it excuse this eye this is my right eye um I've been like playing with makeup and yesterday I was playing with the Huda Beauty like neon like pink palette and it literally like stayed my eye I went to yoga today and a couple people stared and I was like, I'm not, like, I don't have pink eye. Literally, like, my eyes just stained. As you can see, I have redness here. I do have a couple of, like, blackheads right here that have been, like, bothering me. Um, but I mean, apart from all, I do have kind of, like, big, big pores here. This says that it is a deep cleaning peel-off mask. Uses volcanic ash to pull pore clogging dirt, grime, and oil from your pores without um, over drying. It is for all, um, all skin types. Directions, not recommended for use or facial hair, which you know, it's good that you know we don't have facial hair. Um, apply an even layer to clean dry face, avoiding eye area, eyebrows, hairline, and lips. Leave on for five to 10 minutes or until dry. Usually, to be honest, I leave mine for about 20 to 25 minutes because mine usually doesn't dry until that time. Like, I really want to try the mask that, um, the viral video of the lady that tried to, like, take it off when it was, like, super painful. Like, I really want to try that mask. I haven't tried that one. I like the scent. It smells, like, fresh. Every time I use a mask, my eyes like water I have no idea why <laughs> why like the mask doesn't burn or anything and I like that it says like deep clean it deep cleans uh, your pores because I mean I wear makeup every day and you know, as much as we try to like clean our faces, you know, every day with all the products, we feel like it is important for us to do a mask, like a deep pore cleaning mask, you know, so that it helps. I'm really trying to get like around my nose. I try to avoid like like my direct under eye area like right here because just there our skin tends to be a little bit like thinner and I don't want to be pulling that 
when I draw it, when I like peel off this mask. 20 minutes. So I'll come back. I'm going to go and do, I don't know, I'm going to make some myself some breakfast because I haven't eaten anything. I do have my coffee here, so I'm going to, you know, enjoy my coffee and wait for 20 minutes until this is in. So. and trying to like peel it this is so satisfying <laughs> that was not oh, <laughs> that was not hard to peel ah oh, I don't understand why this is so satisfying to get it ah, all from one so this piece right here wasn't completely dry but it was dry enough huh. that peels out so easy before I go and rinse um, my face with warm water I do want to say that I do see a difference on my redness and I'm pretty sure you can even like see it on camera. I don't have as much red redness here as I usually do, which I don't know, I really, really like that. I hadn't seen that in a mask or a mask hadn't done that for me. I barely see like the redness right here. Um, it feels super smooth. I mean, for $8, what do you expect? But like it did a really good job. It was really easy to peel off. Okay, so I'm gonna go and rinse my face with some warm water and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just rinsed my face with warm water and my skin feels so nice. It feels so smooth. I definitely, definitely see a difference on the redness on my skin. Like up close, it looks so, so good. Like my pores did look, uh, do, do look a little bit like minimized. I usually have big pores right here and I can definitely see like a difference. So I definitely see a difference in my skin. I definitely see a difference on the redness, which is something that I always mention in my videos about whenever I'm reviewing a like foundation or another mask. I always mention my redness because it's something that I'm very like, I don't know, like self-aware that I have a lot of redness right here and I do see a difference with this mask. I really, really like it because it is affordable and it gave me an amazing result. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. If you did like this mask video, please make sure that you leave me down a comment and let me know what other mask I should review. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!